in the city today to raise awareness of the housing crisis in Wales. They're also calling for the next Welsh Government to make changes. They want more affordable housing, community homes and reduced house prices. The rally started at the Senedd in Cardiff Bay and finished in the city centre. Laura Allen reports. Hundreds of people gathered outside the Senedd to highlight a need for affordable housing in Wales. They're raising awareness ahead of May's Assembly elections. The rally here at the Senedd has gathered residents from across the city as well as several organisations to highlight the housing crisis in Cardiff. Uh, well, we're one of the seven organisations that have pulled this event together. Uh, that's a coalition of organisations stretching across the private sector uh, and the public sector in housing. Um, and we're all here today really to ask one thing. Uh, for the next Welsh Government to commit to ending the housing crisis and build a stronger Wales. So this is uh, residents and organisations together? Yes, there's a real mix of people here, uh, from tenants and organisations and people who work in the industry here to say housing is important and we need the Welsh Government to assist us in solving the crisis we've got in front of us. Days of other people of Wales, we've got a real affordability crisis in Wales at the moment. 152,000 young people are still living at home, 20 to 34. House prices have increased by 16% since 2008 and we need 12,000 new homes. We're built in around 7,000. So this is about ensuring that everyone in Wales has a decent quality affordable home and hopefully encouraging the people to ask their politicians what are you doing to ensure affordable housing is the top of your priority. And obviously we're on the steps of the Senate, we've got the Assembly elections coming up in May, is that the plan to kick start all then? Absolutely, currently housing is a sixth priority for the electorate in Wales, health and education, immigration, welfare, all up there, but housing impacts on all those things. If you think about your health and education outcomes are absolutely key with housing, so we want housing to be driven right at the political agenda. Done. Well, for us, uh, the Welsh tenants, we represent the interests of tenants in Wales. Uh, this year is a special year because it's 100 years since the Charter of the Institute of Housing. It's 50 years since Cathy came home uh, in November, launched in November 1966. Um, it's 30 years next year for our anniversary as well. And for us, I think we want to make this year a year where we kickstart housing in Wales. We need 12,000 homes built every year uh, for, the, for the next four or five years, so that's why we're here supporting this campaign. And we want to say, send a message out that um, for every home that's built, it needs slates, it needs bricks, it needs plasterboards, it needs plumbers. That creates jobs, local jobs, local key skills, apprenticeships. And that's why I think you know, we're supporting this campaign, because I think that we can do it in Wales, kickstart the economy in Wales, get people into work, while also providing for a major need in Wales, which is a shortage of housing. Hey, well I'm here today because I realise how big the housing crisis is. I myself, a few years ago, was in a situation where when my husband died, I felt very vulnerable, very alone, even with a very loving, supportive family, I found a difference and I felt I needed to go into a sheltered accommodation for the community. It gave me so much confidence. It provided me with a community within a community. I didn't feel lonely. I got active involved in, in everything that was around. What a difference it made to me. It changed my life. And I'm here today to support more of those sheltered houses being built for older people like me. Campaigners have marched from Cardiff Bay to here on the Hayes where they're having live entertainment to celebrate their march. They're positioning the Welsh Government ahead of the Assembly elections in May. This is Laura Allen from Cardiff's local news from the Hayes.